With only 41 days until Christmas, what are the hot tech toys that will be on your kiddos list? Well, Jennifer Jolly, consumer tech journalist for USA Today, has the latest for this holiday season. Good morning, Jennifer. Holiday season. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. I am surrounded by some of the hottest gadgets to truly tech the halls this holiday season. Something for everyone on your list and in every price range. Well, show us what you got. Well, let's start off with one of the hero gadgets of this holiday season, the Microsoft Surface Pro 3. One of the hot trends these days is getting one gadget that can do everything. Gone are the days of having to have 20 different devices. This is the best of a laptop mm -hmm. and the best of a tablet, all in one great device. Super high-end, feature-rich, feature-packed touch screen. This runs in the $800 range. Mm -hmm. If you're on a budget and you want to really say scrimp and save this holiday season, there's this HP stream this is a full notebook laptop under two hundred dollars runs full microsoft windows 8.1 wow. great way to manage wow. your digital life on the go right two hundred bucks we're saying i'm saying wow about both of these because not so long ago a device like this would have cost well into the thousands mm -hmm. a device like this was upper hundreds so in about one year we've seen Prices come way down, but the quality doesn't suffer. Right. So that's a really new thing this year. That's great. Now, what about smartphones? You think those what are a good gift idea as well? Smart Smartphones can absolutely be great gifts for folks, but you want to think about their personality and their lifestyle. The last thing you want to do is saddle them with a gadget that they can't figure out or a huge high monthly bill. Mm -hmm. uh, again, on this sort of theme of one gadget that can do everything, this is the Lumia 830. This is one of the newest smartphones on the market. Mm -hmm. This is less than $100 and has arguably the best camera that I have seen in a smartphone. It has a 10 megapixel feature-rich Zeiss optical camera. And for the holidays, one of the specials is you buy this, it's less than 100 bucks, you get this Fitbit Flex uh, fitness band. Mm -hmm. This costs around $100, so it's like you're making money. You spend 100, you get something that's also 100 bucks. Buy this for your friend, you get this for yourself, everybody wins. Right, right, right. All right, and then tell me about traveling. Any, right, any good ideas as far as travel for, for the kids or for families, travel, for travel for gifts? Well, one of the best ways to keep your kids sort of happy and entertained on the go is with a gadget that not only engages them digitally, but is also healthy. So it doesn't just kind of suck them in and tune them out. Yeah. There's all kinds of things that can be yeah. done, all, ty all types of deals with tablets. I have a Toshiba Encore Mini over here. It's around that $100 range. It's small and light. It's easy to use on the go. Uh -huh. But it also, again, it brings your movies. It streams everything that you want it to. And then over on the other side of the table, I have a LeapFrog Leap Band. This not only makes kids ages four to seven feel like, hey, I've got a cool, hot, little wearable device, mm -hmm. but it encourages, the, it, it encourages them to get up be uh, healthy, get outside to play, to dance around. And I went over to the LeapFrog Labs when they were testing this with kids. It was such a big hit because wearables are something we're talking about all the time. Kids want what their parents have. Exactly. But it engages them in a really healthy way. I love it. That's right. It seems like every everything that's is right. going more like technical everything. and that's everything all the kids want under the tree anyway. More electronics. That's right. Electronics. All right, where can we That's get right. And, you know, wearables. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, wearables are kind of what everyone's talking about this holiday mm -hmm. season. And I keep getting asked, should I buy a fitness band? Should I buy a smartwatch? Once again, you don't have to decide between one or the other or get both. Mm -hmm. This is the Microsoft band. It's the best of a fitness device. It tracks your steps. It's actually reading my heart rate as I'm talking right now. It brings workouts to the device. It tracks. Cool. All right, we're going to have a link on our website for more information about all these gadgets that Jennifer has available. And we'll be back with more broadcasts right after this.